The National Weather Service is predicting a deep freeze starting early morning Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. This will include several hours of temperatures below 28 degrees with life-threatening wind chills in the 10 to 15 degree temperature range. Prediction of precipitation as early as Thursday afternoon to Friday morning making snow, sleet, and or freezing rain a possibility. The worst weather will occur late Thursday and early Friday. Snow flurries are predicted toward the upper valley and sleet or freezing rain towards Cameron County and the coast. Morning and evening commutes may become treacherous. People are advised to stay indoors if possible. The Texas Department of Transportation may lay gravel on elevated roadways and overpasses if needed. Electricity outages may occur as part of rolling outages meant to compensate to a generation shortage, or if power lines become coated with ice. Persons requiring uninterrupted power at their homes for medical reasons should be aware and try to make alternate arrangements. The electrical utility providers throughout the Rio Grande Valley are asking consumers and businesses to reduce their energy uses to the lowest levels possible. In Hidalgo County, shelter is available at the Salvation Army located in, at the intersection of 23rd Street and Pecan in McAllen. The McAllen Express Transit will offer free shuttle rides to people who need to get there. The rides begin today and continue through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. To make arrangements, call 956-681-3500. No pets are allowed and preferred intake hours are from 6.15 to 9 p.m. In Cameron County, shelter is available at the Ozamam Center at, in Brownsville, located at 656 North Minnesota Avenue, at the Loaves and Fishes in Harlington, located at 514 South E Street, and the Port Isabel Municipal Court <coughs> in Port Isabel, located at 110 Hickman and the Elma E. Barrera Elementary Gymnasium in Santa Rosa, located at 1201 Farm Road 506.